It's okay to be in a season. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Talk. I am your host, Roxanne Marbs, and if you haven't done so, please click that like and follow <laughs> button so you never miss another episode. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my friends. I Good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're joining me, whenever, whenever you're hopping on to watch this. I wanted to, I appreciate it so much that you guys take the time to uh, to jump on and converse with me or later in the day to just listen to this. I, I really want you to know that that means a lot to me. Kylie, good morning. Karen, good morning. Happy Blur's Day. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. You're amazing. Hootsack, good morning. You know, I always try to make the pot of coffee, I try to make a little extra and then on the days I don't, and I want to go put a little topper offer, I have none left. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, Amy, good morning. Corey, good morning. Coach and Clutch. Michelle, good morning. Coach and BBF peeps. Jenny, good morning. Happy Thursday, my friends. Thursday, blurs day, whatever, whatever it is. Mm. There are just some days where there is just nothing as good as a warm cup of coffee. I, I can't help it. Kim, good morning. Teresa, good morning. Jody, good morning. So I want to tell you, I made that soup yesterday on camera. Got time to eat it. And I had a, I, I had a very human afternoon. Like, it was terrible. My soup was terrible. Now, Coach Chuck said it wasn't so bad. I felt like it was terrible. Like I gagged the chicken down, whatever, because if I make it, I'm going to eat it. I don't care how bad it is. <laughs> Anybody else like that? But then it was funny. After workouts, normally I will do my protein shake and I'll do a healthy carb. Like that's just my plan. Last night, I was kind of, because my because my soup didn't turn out and maybe a little PMS, I'm gonna be honest, there's a little PMS happening. I was having one of those, meh, I don't really wanna do my protein shake moments. So for supper last night, I'm gonna be honest here, I had cheese and grapes. That was my supper. It was a human moment. I didn't I didn't want what I what I what I normally have. I feel better today. Had my protein shake after my workout. I'm leveled back out, but I just want you guys to know I am not perfect. I have moments. I do crazy things. One of those crazy things was cheese and grapes for supper. <laughs> now that might not sound too crazy to some of you, but for me, sometimes that's a little crazy. Uh, what do we got going on here? Jody, good morning. Teresa, good morning. Kimberly, good morning. Carrie, good morning. Teenagers will be the death of me. Oh, Carrie, it's funny. There, it's not funny. There is a video I did probably about four years ago where I was sitting in my robe at my kitchen table and maybe it wasn't a video. Maybe it was just a post. I had been up all night crying because of my teenager. Uh, those were some really tough years. Uh, you know, uh, my youngest daughter really gave me a run for my money. All my kids did at some point in time. I'm not going to lie. But my youngest daughter from about 13 to 17, maybe even 18, she gave me a run for my money. Lots of sleepless nights, lots of tears. Uh, and th there may have been a lot of alcohol consumed in those days, which, you know, probably didn't help the situation at all. But when you're coping and you've only ever known how to cope one way. So I feel you, mama, reach out to some, like get some support, get some support. I, even if it's just to vent and rant, uh, get some support because these are tough years. They are. I always try to, I, do you remember when you were a teenager? I was a terrible teenager. My mother has all of her gray hairs from us children, I swear. We were terrible kids. I, my mom, I don't even know what we put her through. So I always try and remember that. My mom and dad used to say, I hope your kids do this to you. <laughs> Oh, and they did turn out just like me. Monica, hello. Julie, good morning. Lynn, good Thursday. Sarah, good morning. Dee Dee, good morning. Michelle, good morning. Lori, good morning. Corey, good morning. Lori, thanks for being real and raw with us. Today's a new day. That's right. That's right. Hootsack, that's wild. Did you stay up until nine? No. Uh, actually, we were in bed by seven. I was snoring probably by 7.30. 
no, and you know what? Some of my, not only did the soup not turn out and I'm PMSing, the night before I didn't sleep, uh, I slept very terrible because the dog wanted to sleep with us and the dog had the tremors. So I gave the dog my blanket, so then I froze and I didn't get any sleep. What is happening? And this is nothing compared to what some of you are going through. I know this. It's why, I, it's why I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> I am fine. And my heart goes out to those of you who are truly going through some deep stuff right now, just so you know. Uh, Deanna, Carrie, right with you. Last night was rough. Uh, Hootsack, my girl didn't talk to me all night because I had the audacity to talk to her about her homework. Oh, Debbie, good morning, my friends. You know, so the title of today's video is It's Okay to Be in a Season. You know, I, I've sent out a lot of emails over the past month. I try to keep in contact with our community. And there's this overwhelming, and it's crazy. Like, I wish you all knew how much you guys were going through things together. Um, there's so much going on right now. A lot of it does have to do with kids, but a lot of it has to do with the fact, too, that our world still isn't the world we were in two years ago. Now, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's bad. I just know it's different. And I know we're still trying to figure this out. It's just different. But in the past, we talked a lot about excuses. And we've talked a lot about self-sabotage. Lisa, good morning. But I want you to know that if you're in a season right now and you feel like, you know, maybe you aren't giving your all in your workouts. Maybe you aren't getting that smoothie in every day. Whatever it is, I, as your coach, don't think that you are giving excuses. I don't think that you're self-sabotaging. I believe you're truly in a season. You're in a season of change. You know, you guys with the, with the teenagers, like this isn't just a season of change, right? It is, and on top of it, it's a season of emotions, right? It, and I get it. When you have emotions, you're filled with emotions. Your child is filled with emotions. There's yelling, there's tears. And at the end of it, you're spent, right? You don't want to go into the kitchen and be all happy, jolly, and cook a meal for the family or get up in the morning and get your workout in, especially if you've been up all night crying or if your kids aren't talking to you. I've been there. I get it. And it's okay to be in this season and it's okay to try and figure it out and figure out maybe for this moment in time, maybe it's not like summer. Maybe you aren't going to get six workouts in. Maybe you're not going to do a smoothie every day. Maybe you missed your steps today because you were so emotionally exhausted from the day that when it came time to, to go for your walk, you chose to soak in the tub or you chose to just sit down and unwind. Those things are okay. And now you're probably thinking, well, when isn't it okay? When it's not okay. When you are at a place where you feel like it's time to pick yourself up and you don't, that's when some of those things can become excuses. That's when some of those things can become self-sabotage. But it's okay to be in a season. There's so much going on right now, right? I mean, we are still, people are still losing loved ones, not only to C-19, but to the flu, to cancer, to die, like whatever it is, we're still losing loved ones all the time, right? Or we still have loved ones who are sick and we don't know how to process that. Susan, good morning. Um, you know, businesses, we're going to work and sometimes our job is shutting down because people are sick. Sometimes our daycares are shutting down because people are sick. Sometimes we can't do our job because we don't have supplies right now because that's the world we're living in. I get it. These seasons are throwing us for a loop and they're dark. It's a dark season for some of us. I get that and it's okay. I want you to know it's okay. Don't put yourself through some kind of guilt and shame because you aren't being perfect on your health journey because your health journey also includes your mental health. You have to take care of your mental health. You have to show up for that every single day too just like your physical part of your journey, just like the nutritional part of your journey. If one of those things isn't clicking, try and fall back on the other one. Try and work on the mental because right now in these times, we need to stay focused on that. Reach out to a friend. 
vent to a friend, rant to a friend. Not that they can even help you. Not Maybe they can't even help to give you guidance, but isn't it nice to get that something off of your chest? A lot of people will send me a book for an email and at the end they'll say, I'm really sorry, this is probably more than you wanted to know. If I get to be that outlet for you, that makes my day. I, 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 we all need that. If I am that outlet for you, keep it coming. I never look at an email and think, oh boy, this... I look at it and I'm like, wow, I feel so good that you felt okay to share with me. At least you have somebody to share with. And I get it, right? Like we don't always wanna be, we don't wanna overwhelm our spouse sometimes. I mean, you're both going through it. So it's not like you don't know what's happening. Corey, I sent that email last night. Well, I look forward to reading it, Corey. And, and you are not the only one. I bet you there's about a dozen people right now on this live who are probably thinking that I'm talking about them but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about everybody because you are not alone. Everybody is going through something right now. And even if they're not going through something right now, maybe they have, maybe they have a beautiful season. We all go through dark seasons. We do. That is life. That is just the way it rolls. You know, we talk about balance, right? Like some will say, oh, I, I'm just, my life is so unbalanced right now. Balance is not, if you have four quadrants in life, it's not 25 here and 25 here and 25 here and 25 here. Right now, balance might be 90% to the kids and 10% to everything else in your world, which feels overwhelming, right? But you're gonna go through another season or you're gonna have another day, maybe today, where 80% is everything else and 20% is the kids. That's really balance. That, it's, it's learning how to shuffle through that. There is no, this isn't balance in life. Like it's so funny to even think that. Well, today I'm going to give 50% of my life to my spouse and my children and the other 50% I am going to give to cleaning the house and my job. And it isn't, it isn't the way it is. We would love to believe that, right? Don't guilt yourself over that. Don't shame yourself over that. Don't guilt and shame yourself over having to take some mom time over having to take some you time. You know, if you are really like, man, I just need a moment, tell your spouse, I need to take a moment. And maybe they need that moment too. So make sure you're giving that to them. Maybe you guys need a moment together. Call a friend, call a family member and just say, we need an hour. We need an hour. Tell the kids, we need an hour. And I know maybe that doesn't go that way. Lori said, seasons for reasons, yes. Yes, my, you know, it's funny when we have the little kids, I, that's my, I say that, yeah, it's funny. When we have little kids, we, we think like, oh, I can't wait till they can hold their bottle on their own. I can't wait until they're potty trained. I can't wait until kindergarten. And then we get into middle school and then we get into high school. And then we think it was so easy. It was so easy in that season when I thought it was so darn hard, right? Every season is going to have its challenges. This season is going to be no different, my friend. Go ahead and cry it out if you need to. Put in a good movie when you get a chance and laugh it out, but make sure that you're taking time for you. Now, when you're ready to ask, how do I pick myself up? That's when these things can turn into excuses. That's when these things can turn into self-sabotage. So if you have said, how do I pick myself up from this? you're probably ready. You're probably ready to take a step forward. And that's the only thing you need to do. Maybe this summer you were killing it with the four S's and you were killing it with like 15,000 steps a day, whatever it was. Now you're like, now I have to get back to that. No, all I want you to do today is one step forward. Is that a smoothie today? Because you haven't done one in a while, then do a smoothie. Maybe tomorrow, maybe it's smoothie in a five minute fit challenge. Maybe next week it's a smoothie and two workouts, right? It's one step forward. Don't feel like you have to take the whole world back on. Don't feel like you have to be the person you were in the last season. You'll get there. But just like in the last season, it took a little time. It's going to take a little time again. That's okay. That's how you know it's a lifestyle is when you fall off and you can slowly pick up the pieces and go back to doing what you were doing. It's not picking up all the pieces and putting them back together right now because when you try to do that, you are going to feel like you're falling off the cliff. You're going, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then you're not gonna do anything. So one thing at a time, my friends. 
I know you can do this. I know this season is probably challenging for you. I know you're probably struggling. Uh, we've, we all are in one way or another. And if we're not, we were or we will be because that is just the cycle of life. That is the cycle of life. You know, so if this isn't you right now, maybe you know somebody it is. Maybe you can do a little something to pick them up. I've seen so many moms on here who are like, I can't even find the time to make a meal. Maybe you can make somebody a meal. Maybe you could package up a, a week of smoothies for somebody and drop off a week of smoothies. Maybe you could go buy somebody a dollar gallon of water. I don't know. But if you know somebody who's struggling, any that little bit might change their whole world for the day. You just don't know. So if you are not in a season of struggle right now, maybe you can help somebody out. And if you are in a season of struggle, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Don't be afraid to do something that's out. You know, yesterday Karen shared in our group the home fresh meals. The free don't be afraid to do something that is not in your norm. Do something to help you. Reach out. Let people know that, hey, I'm struggling right now. I don't know what I need, but I just needed to let somebody know I'm struggling. Um, Susan, I needed to hear this. Corey, I so needed to hear this message today. Thank you so much. I love you guys. We are in this together. And you know, I like to say we're all in the same boat. We're probably all in the same ocean. We're probably driving different boats. So if I can throw you a buoy, let me know. If I can do anything to help you, let me know. That's why we're here. That's why we have each other. Michelle, beautiful message. Marsha, beautiful message today. Thank you so much. So my friends, go out today. Make it your mission, Not maybe not just to even have somebody smile. Make it your mission maybe to pick somebody up today. Pick them up, help them out. This is tough, life is tough. Raising kids is tough. Marriage is tough. Living, leading a healthy lifestyle, it's tough. That's why we have each other. Um, Jody, it's always best to help someone out and be kind. Always, 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 always. Sometimes we don't have the strength or the energy to do that, but if you do, please help somebody out. Michelle, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Kara, yes, this is so good. I need to hear this and I still need to send my email. I'm always here. And again, don't ever worry about getting back to me because I get it. You will when you can. I absolutely understand that. Hutek, we used that analogy at the start of the year today. Different boats in the same storm. 100%. Uh, Heidi, I'm going away for a women's retreat with my mom this weekend. It will be so good to get away from everything. Take time for yourself, everyone. Yes. Moms, I know that you're like, I don't know if I can do that. Or there's guilt and shame around that. You need to do it. You need to take a moment for, you need to take a moment. All right, my friends. Hootsex started the school year, not today. <laughs> all right, my friends. All right, my friends. I love you all. Deep breath in. Woosa, we're going to be okay. It might be a little bit, but you are going to get through this. I love you all. I'll be back tomorrow morning with Coach Chuck. Go out and have a fantastic day, my friends.